Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Now I just wanted to do a quick video on my water cooler for my PC. If you've been following the channel, I built myself a new editing machine at the start of the year and I built that off an AMD Ryzen 3 800 and I've shared a couple of videos on that as well with about the motherboard and the case. As part of that build, I chose the Corsair H100i RGB all-in-one water cooler and that was part of the build and up till now it's been absolutely fine. However, a few days ago I noticed a few little strange glitches with the LED system and now today it appears that some of the LEDs on the water pump has failed and I'm no longer getting the full RGB happening on the water pump itself. Now just to show you what I'm actually getting I will switch over to the desktop and show you. Now I'm just going to hit record on my phone just so you guys can actually see the water cooler as well. You are getting some light spill from my other internal RGB fan, please do ignore that one. But if you can see, I've currently got it set to rainbow wave, but it certainly isn't scrolling the way it should be. Now, if I go into the static color mode, I've dropped it straight into the main color mode, which is white, but as you can see, we've got red. If I cycle through them, if I go to blue, blue appears to work fine, as does green. However, white is just going red, and if I go to red, obviously red is red. So it appears the white LEDs have failed. Now I have tried upgrading the firmware on this, I've tried redoing the app, I've rebooted the machine, and it's exactly the same. So it does seem like my RGB LEDs on the system, on the pump itself, have actually failed. Now, this is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass because to resolve it, it means I'm going to have to take the water cooler off and send it back. Now, I do have the original air cooler that came with my 3800X, so I am going to have the option of doing that, but it is going to mean stripping the machine down boxing this back up and opening a ticket with course here. Now, I just thought I would share this with you guys because it isn't something I've seen mentioned a lot and I thought I would put it out there. Now, if you've had this issue, please do let me know in the comments if there is anything I can try before completely stripping this machine down. At the end of the day, this isn't a priority issue. The water cooler still works as in cooling function, absolutely fine. But it is an annoyance to have a failure like this on the RGB system in just around five months because that's all that it's been used. And this machine is not on all of the time. I do turn it off and I do put it into standby regularly as well. But please do let me know if you've been having these issues out there or if you guys have got any comments on it either. Overall, I have have to say on the H100i I have been happy with it up till now. Cooling performance is okay. I wish I had actually gone for the larger version. I wish I'd have gone for the H120 to be honest. The H100 is okay for my application but as I showed in my case video that I released a couple of weeks ago this doesn't have the best airflow and it doesn't give the best opportunity for getting cooling over that radiator and a bit of extra size would have helped as well. However overall the H100 has been behaving okay and again until I had these LED issues I have been happy with it overall. Anyway, that's it for this video. I thought I would just share it quickly. If you've got any ideas, please do put it in the comments of the video. If you've liked what you've seen, please do subscribe. And I suppose I should reach out to Corsair and try and get this one fixed.